Welcome back everybody. Today we're doing a video that most of you out there who are subscribed to this channel already fully understand what I'm talking about. However, there's a whole lot of people in America, unfortunately, who don't, so I ask that you share it with them. Uh, we're gonna be talking about civilian ownership of firearms and why it's important, why it's crucial to our survival, and why it is helping another nation around the world right now in its survival as well. So before we do that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is NAGR. Uh, for folks who are looking for a no compromise, truly no compromise gun rights organization in America who will preserve these rights that I'm about to talk about at all costs and never give an inch, uh, NAGR is definitely a group worth looking into. Uh, obviously, I've looked into their past and they they truly stand by no compromise in terms of gun control uh, and they've done a lot to maintain the rights that we still have and they're working to get the rights that have been taken away back. Speaking of that, why am I talking about this today? Well, many of you guys have seen over the last week in Ukraine, obviously Russia has invaded the nation and I'm not really going to deep dive into that war at all, but the point I wanted to bring up is that uh, the president there immediately gave out, as of the last report I saw, over 18,000 weapons, particularly, or mostly rather I should say AK-74 variants. Um, but regardless of what they are, they're giving them rifles to untrained civilians, right? And a lot of people have had very mixed reactions to that. A lot of people who are, you know, former military in the United States, etc., are saying it could be risky, you know, giving the weapons to people who don't know what they're doing. That's true, right? Life is risky, war is risky, it's kind of the way it is. However, uh, people having civilians, excuse me, civilians having weapons is a serious deterrent to foreign armies invading or occupying them. Uh, it just is what it is, right? There's a lot of reasons why in America that we haven't been invaded on a major scale anyway since in over 200 years. Uh, one of them for sure is our large number of firearms that we have. And in our case, we have a very proficient population with those firearms. Why? We have lots of uh, courses people can take. We have competitions people people can participate in to hone their skills and recreational shooting and hunting in America is just a pastime so being proficient with your firearms is kind of I don't want to say a given because that's not true but something that a lot of people in America take very seriously and that alone is a deterrent among many other things to com people coming into the United States uh, foreign adversaries I should say and in the case of Ukraine you know a lot of people are having different reactions as I spoke to and one of them which I find particularly ironic is by the mainstream media here in America they are rooting this on and you know celebrating the fact that Ukrainians are being handed AK-74s which for folks who don't know are, are full automatic capable um, and in America they get very upset when you own something like that which is a semi-automatic AK variant uh, they don't want us to have those that why who knows Right? Do they want us to be occupied? Do they want us to be taken over from within? That's a video for another day, but the point is the irony of the way they're covering it is glaring, right? Over there, they're celebrating it and championing the fact that these people are actually going to be able to defend themselves, their families, their cities, their nations from a foreign invader. Yet, at the same time, they're trying to take our ability in America, as American citizens, our ability to do the same away from us. It's quite ironic and quite telling of what their motivations are. Regardless, again, this video is a reminder of the actual reason we have the Second Amendment. And there's two major reasons for that, right? It's not hunting, it's not competition shooting, it is defense against tyranny, whether it be from a foreign invader or from an internal invader, somebody who is against our rights which are enshrined in the Constitution. That's why we have the Second Amendment, it's for no other reason. That's why we have it. If you don't believe that, please look into uh, the Federalist Papers. There's lots of evidence. There's lots of journaling done by our founding fathers to that end. And they were very adamant that they would ensure throughout the length of this nation's existence that we would always have that capability. We still do to some extent. And again, like I talked about earlier, there are groups like myself and others who are working to reclaim the rights that we should have that have been taken away by our government. Hopefully we'll get there one day, but again, those are videos for another day. Anyway, guys, wanted to make a quick video on something that, again, many of you find very obvious, um, but unfortunately there's a large percentage of Americans who simply don't understand it, even with the events that are unfolding right in front of us around the world. So with that, guys, we'll close the video out. If you guys aren't subscribed, somebody shared this video with you and you like this type of content, definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can learn more about firearms here, uh, both details of operating them, 
differences between them, all of those sorts of things. That is what we cover here on the channel, as well as general Second Amendment news. We do that as well. So thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.